क्वेश्चन नंबर 601 व्हाट पनिशमेंट फॉर कस्टोडियल रेप इज प्रोवाइडेड 7 इयर्स ऑफ रिगरस इंप्रिजनमेंट विद फाइन रिगरस इंप्रिजनमेंट फॉर अ टर्म व्हिच शैल नॉट बी लेस देन 10 इयर्स बट व्हिच मे एक्सटेंड टू इंप्रिजनमेंट फॉर लाइफ एंड शैल आल्सो बी लायबल टू फाइन 15 इयर्स ऑफ इंप्रिजनमेंट 20 इयर्स ऑफ इंप्रिजनमेंट करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन बी दैट इज रिगरस इंप्रिजनमेंट फॉर अ टर्म व्हिच शैल नॉट बी लेस देन 10 इयर्स बट व्हिच मे एक्सटेंड टू इंप्रिजनमेंट फॉर लाइफ एंड शैल आल्सो बी लायबल टू फाइन क्वेश्चन नंबर 602 A has sexual intercourse with his own wife who is living separately fro- from him under a decree of separation without her consent which section of IPC covers the matter options are section 376 section 376 A section 376 B section 376 C correct answer is option C that is section 376 B question number 603 under which section of IPC gang rape is punishable Options are section 376 A, section 376 B, section 376 C, section 376 D. Correct answer is option D. That is section 376 D. In this, gang rape is punishable. Question number 604. For a gang rape, it is necessary that rape should be committed by more than one person. It is committed by more than two person. It is committed that rape should be committed. It is necessary that rape should be committed by at least five person. None of the above is correct. Correct answer is option A. That it is necessary that rape should be committed by more than one person. Question number six hundred five, where a woman is being gang raped, each of those persons shall be deemed to have committed the offence of rape and shall be punished with. Correct answer is option D. That is rigorous imprisonment of lot less than twenty years. Question number six hundred six, match list one and list second and select the correct answer. Which one voluntary, voluntarily throwing or attempting to throw acid. Correct answer is. imprisonment of not less than 5 years may extend to 7 years option b buying minor for purpose of prostitution etc correct answer is imprisonment for a term which may extend to 10 years gang rape rigorous imprisonment of not less than 20 years which may extend to fine and robbery committed on the highway between sunset and sunrise here the correct answer will be imprisonment which may extend to 14 years by going these matches the correct answer is option a question number 607 which of the following are correctly matched harbor section 51 a ipc wrongful law section 23 ipc gang rape on women under 12 years of age section 376 db ipc gang rape section 376 dipc in this question correct answer is option c that is 2 3 and 4 these matches are correctly matched wrongful law gang rape and gang gang rape under 12 years of age section 376 db gang rape section 376 d ipc question number 608 section 377 of ipc regarding unnatural offences was partially struck down by the supreme court in the case of correct answer is navtej singh johar versus union of india this is one of the landmark judgment in judicial history of india make sure you remember this answer question number 609 Which one of the following cases pertains to the constitutionality of section 377 of IPC? Correct answer is Navtej Singh Johar versus Union of India. Question number 610. Chapter 17 of IPC deals with what offence? Chapter 17 deals with the offences against property. Theft has been defined in theft has been defined under section 378 of IPC. The subject matter of theft is can be movable can be immovable both a and b either a or b the subject matter of theft will be movable property question number 613 section 379 of ipc is section 379 of ipc provides punishment for the theft punishment for theft under ipc may be extended up to 3 years 5 years 2 years none of the above correct answer is 3 years question number 615 under which section of ipc committing theft of a computer from shop com- is punishable options are section 379 section 380 section 381 section 383 correct answer is option b that is section 380 question number 6816 which one of the following is not correct for the for theft of property must be movable for theft property must be removed out of the possession of the owner of property for theft property should have been removed from taking it away for theft property should be removed dishonestly here the correct answer is option b for theft property must be removed out of the possession of the owner of property is not necessary because possession and owner ownership are two different things there can be theft also if the person who is not the owner of the thing is holding uh, there is an illustration in in the theft 
if you are taking a watch from a person who is repairing your watch from him only and you have not paid money and without knowing him you are taking your watch only you will be the owner of the watch but this will come under the category of theft so the correct answer will be option b here it is in me asked which is not correct question number 617 which one is not essential element of theft options are movable property possession of property ownership of that property removal of that property correct answer is option c that is ownership of that property this we have already discussed question number 618 which one of the following is not correct in respect of the definition of theft options are removal of movable property of another out of ownership of that person without his consent with intent to take away the property correct answer is option b that is out of the ownership of that person question number 619 planning to commit a theft is a cognizable offense no offense in itself strict criminal liability criminal ownership correct answer is option b that is no offense in itself question number 620 Theft is an offence against a person, immovable property, movable property, both movable and immovable property. Correct answer is movable property. Question number six hundred twenty-one. Dishonest intention must precede the act of committing robbery, criminal misappropriation, theft, criminal breach of trust. Correct answer is option C. That is theft. Question number six hundred twenty-two. In order to constitute theft, what is not an ingredient in IPC? Dishonest intention, moving of the property, common intention, movable property. Correct answer is option C. Common intention is not the requisite for committing the theft. Question number six hundred twenty-three. Which one of the following is not an essential element of theft? Dishonest intention, removal from possession, immovable property without consent. Correct answer is option six. It is not about the immovable property. Theft will be of movable property. Question number six hundred twenty-four. Which one of the following is not a characteristic of the for an offence of theft? Dishonest intention to take property. The property must be movable. It should be taken out of the possession of another person. Movement of property is not necessary. Correct answer is option D. This is not the characteristic of theft. Question number six hundred twenty-five. Which one of the following is not a correct ingredient for the offence of theft? Options are dishonest intention to take property. Property must be movable. Property must be taken without the consent of the person in whose possession it is. Property must be taken without consent of the owner of the property. Correct answer is option D. That is, property must be taken without the consent of the owner of the property. Property uh, theft is not about the ownership. It is about the possession.